In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the second uh, episode on uh, Luke 23, verses 50 to 56. Um, yesterday, how we saw how Joseph of Arimathea took down the body of the Lord Jesus, wrapped him in linens, and placed him in a tomb. A tomb that was made out of rock. A cave cold and dark shut up with a stone and and just this a really dark place um, and yet this scene is an icon an image something that gives me hope because there are many times where my heart or the heart of some people I love may look like this tomb it 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 feels like my heart is stone a rock it feels like my heart is is there's no life in it it's dark it's pitch black inside and it feels like uh, it should stink it should be a place of death and in fact it sometimes really is a place of death and it's a place that I've always believed that okay there must be a place where God is unwilling to enter unwilling to be and yet we see today th that there is hope even in a hard uh, stone like empty heart Jesus is willing to be laid down in solidarity to be laid down in the tomb of my heart and and though one may say well what's the point of that what's the why would Jesus enter into a heart that is like that in that state wrapped in linen shrouded the heart cannot see him the, the heart may even think that he is dead, that he's unable to do anything in us. But we know the rest of the story. We know that this is the way he enters into our hearts. We don't know him. We don't recognize him. He seems uh, unable to do anything in us. The situation seems hopeless to me and hopeless to those around me and yet he enters silently he enters in the state of my own heart he enters and i i don't see him face to face he's there, there's a linen that is separating my vision of him i feel nothing i hear nothing there is no movement and yet we know that on the third day there will be a movement in my heart we know that on the third day the first day of the week the eighth day of the week we know that there will be something that will change history for the rest of eternity we know that a light will come forth from this tomb the 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 stone will be rolled away the linens will be removed and this tomb will be open to the fresh air this tomb will be visited will be filled with the smell of frankincense and and all the different um, spices prepared I know that this heart will be opened and the light of God will enter and I know that this tomb and this heart will be the place of resurrection will always forever be the icon the memory of the fact that god rose from this place this is the place of the greatest miracles and this is not just an idea but we see this as a reality in so many hearts people who were so far from god people who were sinners in 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 so many different ways 
people who rejected God, people who hated God, tombs where the Lord Christ laid silently shrouded, hidden from them. And then on their day of resurrection, Christ is victorious, comes out victorious, resurrected, light shining everywhere. It becomes a place of awe and mystery, a place where God has visited and it is made known to both the heart and to the world around that there is a God who lived in there, who resurrected, who rose, who conquered death, defeated the powers of Hades in the tomb of my heart. May today, if you're feeling like your heart is just filled with darkness, if you feel like your heart is hard and you haven't been able to love and I haven't been able to love God or love your neighbor or, or you're feeling really afraid or down or lonely. If you feel like your heart is a tomb, be confident. Be confident that the Lord is lying there shrouded, waiting for the day of resurrection. May we roll the stone May we cry out and beg God for the resurrection for, uh, of our heart, for the, for the renewal of our minds, for the transformation of this cave that was a symbol of death, to be a cave, a heart of flesh, not of stone, to be a heart that, that is remembered for the most powerful event, the greatest uh, dynamic event in history where death was put to death, where life and Christ, uh, the way is victorious and is alive. Have a beautiful day.